Do you plan <laughs> on getting intimate with him? A hundred percent. But he's waiting to see just like how the relationship goes. We're gonna go with the That's flow. Awkward. Well, thankfully she has honest friends. It is awkward. <laughs> it is awkward. When it comes to Usman, Kim is saying. Let's get in. But the problem is that he does not feel how she feels. Oh, Kim's about to travel to Africa to meet Usman, and he booked them separate rooms. Do I like it? Not really. Not really. We're gonna talk about it. Plus, ta-da! These are the little blue pills. We'll get into how Gino is preparing to meet his younger hot girlfriend, Jasmine, and why this relationship has me so confused. Jasmine likes to know every time I go out uh, from my home. Yeah, <laughs> let's get started. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. Season five of Before the 90 Days is here, and the casting team at TLC They've done it again. First things first, meet Kimberly. My best friends would describe me as maybe a little bit crazy, just a little bit. She's 50 years old from San Diego. She has a grown son. You're always going to be my baby. You know that, right? And she also takes care of her mom. She has rheumatoid arthritis in her hips, and it's caused her to, to not be mobile. So I pretty much do everything for her. But I think there is one important thing to note. Kim is also a super fan. On this wall and everything is my Michael Jackson collection. When she becomes a fan of someone. And it was actually one that he wore. She gets passionate about it. It's the fedora and the glove from when he did Billie Jean. And then I call him my Mikey. So it's my Mikey and my handwriting. As you can see, she has no shame in professing her love for Michael Jackson to the world. Now that's a ride or die. I feel like I own a piece of him. And oh yeah, if you're wondering, according to Kim, that fedora is worth about eight to nine thousand dollars. <laughs> Told you, ride or die. And yes, she's doing the moonwalk. My fan, because Kimbali came to me as my fan. I think all of this might give us some context on why she goes so hard for Usman who's about 18 years younger than her. I am listening to Usman Umar, AKA Soulja Boy. Girl, I want you in my life. You be my woman, woman, my lover, lover. If the music I'm in, Jimmy for life. He's a singer slash rapper from Nigeria. Kim opened up about how she met Usman on social media after she messaged him and told him she was a fan. He messaged me back and I was like, oh my God, he messaged me, like, what is this? And we ended up talking for like three hours. For those of you who aren't aware, which I'm sure most of you are, Usman appeared on last season's Before the 90 Days with his ex Lisa, who just so happens to also be a more mature white American woman. Actually, I don't think a relationship somebody who have type, but um, I can say that I actually don't have type, I just, my type is somebody who is going to give me peace. From the beginning, he was accused of using her to get a green card, which he denies. I am not scamming anybody. So considering those things on top of his number one goal. My goal is to be the number one artist or among the number top, top artists in the world. I'm worried for Kim. I swear I have never been so happy. He has completely changed my life. I get it. She wants a reason to be happy and excited, and he's giving that to her. But it's clearly looking like a setup for heartbreak. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? I feel so much emotion when I talk about him. He just makes me so happy, and I haven't been happy with a man in so long. He makes me feel so loved. Side note, in this moment, they aren't actually together. The producer called her out. You know, we're dating and we're gonna see what happens and see how much further we're gonna carry this, so. Aren't you guys dating? <laughs> um, I, I consider us dating. Um, I don't know what he considers it. Right now, Usman calls me his potential girlfriend. Potential girlfriend, we are grown. What is this, grade school? Right now, Usman calls me his potential girlfriend only because of the experiences with his ex-wife. <sighs> If that's what she wants to believe, okay. Speaking of exes, when it comes to Kim's past relationship, 
she revealed that her ex-husband, the father of her son, cheated on her with a number of women after they were together for 28 years. Having been so loyal to somebody that didn't reciprocate that to me was a very hurtful thing. And it's pretty much been years of nonstop bad luck ever since. And now she's putting her hope in good old Usman. It is time for us to meet in person. After getting to know each other for a year online and over the phone, Usman has invited Kim to meet him in Tanzania. Yes! For a music video shoot for one of his songs. She leaves in a couple of days, and her mission? To prove to Usman she is not Lisa. I'm not her, and I'm a thousand times better than her, and I'm doing this because I'm following my heart and he knows that I'm 100% loyal. I'm 100% loyal and I'm not crazy. At the end of the day, it's a relationship for me and it's my happiness as, as well as his. And I know that I can make him happy, I know that. But I'm, I'm fearful of my heart being broken. You and the rest of us. Hey, I hope Usman shocks us all because this lady could be devastated. Listen to what her mom said. What if they get over there and there's no chemistry? It's gonna kill her. It's gonna kill her. Those are some powerful words. I tried to tell Usman this, but scamming isn't just about using someone for money or a green card. At the core of it, it's taking advantage of a vulnerable person to get whatever it is you're trying to gain. In this case, it can be as simple as trying to gain attention. I love being on TV. This is what I've been doing since from childhood. Yeah. He might like being on TV, but I don't think Kim is just in it for TV time. She clearly likes him a lot. She's about to leave her mom for him. Even though a family friend is going to be looking after my mom while I'm gone, it's very, very nerve wracking for me. This trip will be the longest I've been away from her since I became her caregiver. Like I said, I hope he shocks us all. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. In the meantime, before Kim waiting to see just like how the relationship goes. We're gonna go with the flow. It's awkward. It's, it is awkward, it is awkward. I mean, that's why you decided on two separate rooms. I got my room, he got his room. Usman has told me that he would feel more comfortable if he was in a separate room, you know, until we determined like what our relationship is. Do I like it? Not really, not really, because I don't want to feel like I'm there by myself. But um, I guarantee I will bet you two money that by the end of the trip, he will be in my room. Y'all better start throwing out numbers. <laughs> I'm joking. But Kim, she wants to see this a certain way and nothing is going to change that. Not even reality. It's kind of like out there because Usman started off as like um, saying what's up to a fan and turned into Kim head over heels. Right. She just freely gave her heart away. All right, let's move on to Gino. I am 51 years young and I live in Kent, Michigan. Preparing for his trip to go meet 34-year-old Jasmine who lives in Panama for the first time. And oh yeah, get used to Gino wearing his hat. He said he's never taking it off. I prefer the, how I look with the hat on. Which just makes you want to see his head even more, but okay. Earlier this year, I decided to look internationally on a dating site for love because I wasn't having much luck locally. And that's how I met my girlfriend, Jasmine, the love of my life. And to be honest, she's out of my league. But, you know, we've been talking for nine months and she's like, uh, I think my, my soulmate. And I haven't even met her yet. That is 90 day for you. As Gino was gearing up for his love mission, he revealed that he went through the K-1B process once before with his Brazilian ex-wife, who he was with for seven years. I worked in Brazil for six months as an engineer. We met around that time. He also revealed that it's been a long time since he's been intimate with a woman. And he's nervous because Jasmine has a ton of sexual energy. That's why he got the blue pills. Ta-da! These are the little blue pills. It can make you last longer. Where did you get those? Online. Ooh. 
You better be careful. I've already trialed, trialed these, so I know they work. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, man, I mean, this stuff works. It's good. <laughs> Besides that, when Gino gets to Panama, his plan is to propose to Jasmine, which has his family worried. You going there and only being with her three weeks, and you want to put a ring on it? All the single ladies, all the single ladies. And you want to put a ring on it? Another thing that's concerning is Gino lost his job during the pandemic. Yet, he's been giving Jasmine money out of his savings account for cosmetic procedures. I've helped for things such as, you know, doing her lips or maybe her eyebrows or um, maybe facial treatment, um, possibly her hair or her teeth. Um, yeah, I've, I've helped her out with those things. I know, I know. Sounds like an obvious scam, right? But I will say after watching this first episode, I'm a bit confused about Jasmine's intentions. Here's why. Hi, baby. I just ordered some food and I'm gonna go pick it up. Okay, maybe it's only on the end then. Because right here, I don't know what you can do with the whole game. Jasmine has these moments where she gets extremely jealous over Gino. I don't know if she's joking or not, but she says evidence reports. So usually when I go out, I'll send her screenshots or check in with her because she wants to know where I'm at at all times. He's smiling, but that is scary. Cheesecake, right? Yeah. Here. Uh, uh, the person serving my food. Let me see. How you doing? Okay. And what's your first name? I'm Brittany. Brittany, okay. Yeah, it's nice meeting you. All right, baby, I'm gonna go back home. Why are you talking to her that much? My question is, is she making herself jealous by faking it so much that she actually becomes serious? You, you were just there to pick up your food. Why are yeah. you have to be talking? Why not say hi? It's but not why a big you have to ask for her name? Or is she jealous because she's really into him? Because, you know, it was my first time in the restaurant. I never oh, been so there. That means that the second time you're gonna ask for herself to know her. What do you think is going on here? I'm confused. I guess you can scam someone and get jealous because you don't want anyone else getting the perks. Gino's uncle and his girlfriend think she could be setting him up. It's just strange. What if they kidnap him or something? And yeah. What if, you know, and they take his card and all his money, he wakes up in a hotel room with a roofie. His okay. money's gone, everything's gone. Goodbye, nice girl. Don't yell. I, I know you're upset about it a little well, bit, but you don't have to yell. It's just the way I feel. Either way, her jealousy is a red flag, and Gino should probably run. But I think he's set on using those blue pills. Like, wow, man, I mean, this stuff works. It's good. <laughs> As his uncle was dropping him off at the airport to finally go meet Jasmine, he got really emotional, which kind of made me feel for Gino. You know, I'm just uh, thinking about a lot of things that could happen to him. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's no problem. I'm a little emotional about leaving him. His dad just passed away recently last Christmas. So I'm Uncle Dad, you know. That's my baby, man. He's my, he's been my, buddy since he's been running around in diapers, you know? And I worry about him. I really do. Oh, Gino is love. Well, next week he lands in Panama and hopefully he has those blue pills ready because Jasmine is ready to get it in. Really? Oh my God. Oh, I can already tell this season is going to be something else. How did you feel about the first episode? Let me know. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.